What's the crack lads? Welcome back to a Neymar Junior training guide. Now this Neymar is from the 9th of March 2017 with Barcelona. So you know what you're getting with this guy. Absolutely insane player. One of the best players that they have released. Is he overshadowed with Romario in this pack? Personally, I think yes. We will get into a training guide with Romario because I think Romario is top, you know, three players in the game. But I think that Neymar is probably top five players in the game. Any version of him. His AI, his motion, um, his player movement, his awareness, his you know, like dribbling ability, his low center of gravity, his mobility, his versatility. You can literally train him in a multitude of ways and a variety of different um, uh, ways as well. So, you know, there is a couple of little tips and tricks to Neymar as well. But we're going to go through his card. We're going to go through three different versions of him. And then I'm going to give you my last version of him, which I think is the ultimate. Now, I do have Neymar. This guy is obviously a new version of him. But I do have Neymar. He is the legend Neymar that they released with the legend pack um, way back when. It was the legendary pack. They released Messi and Neymar. And I did get Messi and Neymar. And they've been both mainstays of my squad for pretty much a year. Um, nearly a year. So this guy is, I think, as good, equally as good. He is going to be on B rating. Straight off the rip, you've got 80 in everything that you could possibly want. 80 or above in his stats. Balance, speed, acceleration. Lofted pass, uh, set piece taken, and then dribble and ball control tight possession uh, is up in the 80s as well. Low pass at 71, that can be overcompensated for with one touch pass, because that's all you really need with Neymar if you want to add additional skills on him. But looking at that card there, insane. Unwavering form as well with B rating. He's going to be in your starting 11, probably, you know, nine times out of 10. Um, so yeah, 90% of the time he's going to be your star left winger, right? Now this guy can play AMF and SS as well. So we are going to have two different versions, three different versions of him. The first one we're going to take a look at just to get right down to business lads is we are going to take a look at this AMF slash SS version of Neymar. So this guy is all about, right? Something in my mouth. This guy is all about getting on the ball, having really, really good dribbling, ball control, but also have an acceleration and balance, and then excellent low pass and excellent finishing ability. So we're going to pop 10 into shooting and 12 into passing, right? We do have the player skills, double touch, flip flap, Marseille turn. We also have weighted pass, no look pass, and long range drive. So we've got passing, shooting, and dribbling player skills that we don't really need to worry about. But if you are going to be playing with this version of Neymar, this 95 overall AMF version of him, I highly, highly recommend one touch pass. It will, you know, be a game changer for this card, especially in central areas of the pitch. Um, he will be insane as an AMF and an SS because you've got tight possession 88, acceleration 87, balance 84, and then you've also got finishing at 80 with low pass 83, right? Like, this is just a ridiculously good card, especially with the player skills he has. You put one touch passing on him, and he probably is probably, you know, going to be one of the best uh, AMFs in the game, you know, apart from maybe Messi, who can shoot, pass, dribble, and has the pace. Like, the big difference between Neymar and Messi as an AMF is Messi uh, doesn't have the pace of Neymar. He doesn't, he's not as rapid on the pitch as Neymar, you know, forgetting about stats, right? So that is an AMF SS version of Neymar. We will show you towards the end of the video as well, a little bit of a new thing we're going to be doing on this, um, but we'll get into that. The second version of Neymar we're going to take a look at is a balls to the wall speed dribble hybrid, right? So all we've done here is pop 13 into dribbling and 14 into dexterity, or else you can do it the other way around. You know, you can pop 14 into dribbling and 13 into dexterity to get that 85 awareness. You get 96 acceleration with 93 balance, and then ball control is going to be some of the highest in the game, right? When you get the boost from his player form arrows, you are potentially going to have, you know, 98, 99 acceleration, 95 balance, you're going to have ball control, dribbling and tight possession all up towards 97, 98, 99. And then on top of that, you also have the free kicks at 88, which is just the standard that you're going to have. You don't need to pop anything onto that with curl, right? Now, obviously, this guy is going to be playing as your like left winger. And if you've got like a god squad, an absolute god squad, and you are just looking for, you know, 25 minutes from Neymar or a half an hour from Neymar, um, in the second half and you have the luxury of bringing him on and you have an, uh, you know, a top class left midfielder or a left winger or right winger and that you're able to kind of recycle the players. Um, even though, you know, Neymar doesn't have super sub, if you pop super sub on him, he would probably be the best super sub in the game. 
because you will just be able to blitz people on the wing. You can play him just for pure pace and strength uh, with running with the ball. And I think he's probably the best outright winger in the game apart from the passing, you know. But if you pop one touch pass and super sub on this card, it's game over in my opinion with the rest of the stuff that he's going on. But I still think there's a better version of him, which brings us to this one, 97 overall. Now, I want to do this in real time as well, even though we've already built the card um, and progressed him up. I do think there is a couple of talking points to have here, depending on, on your formation and on your play style, right? So I think this is the best version of him because when you look at it, right, you've got low pass and finishing at 75. That's more than enough to trigger animations to be able to score from multiple angles, curl shots. You're not going to be shooting as much with Neymar as you would with your center forward. So that kind of is a bit of a irrelevant. Um, but you've got 89 speed and 80 stamina, which is a little bit, in my opinion, too high for if you're going to be playing this guy as kind of like a hybrid winger, which I mean is that you're going to be cutting in and passing and shooting, and you're also going to be taking people on out wide and beating them with tricks, skills, and acceleration, right? 82 offensive awareness, 93 acceleration, 90 balance, you know, excellent. I do think that the speed and the stamina is a bit high. Um, you don't need it that high, in my opinion. So if you wanted to get like maybe three more points, or yeah, if you wanted to get seven more progression points, you could do that. And you could alter it to depending on your play style of how you wanted to train him up. You know, you could pop three more onto finishing if you wanted to take a little bit more accuracy with the free kicks. Or you wanted to shoot a bit more with him. Or else you could pop him on to get 95 acceleration or else 95 ball control. Depending on how you want to train him up, you can do either. So I do think that there is a multitude of ways of training him up. But I think this is probably the best version of him. And of course, we also have one left there that we can pop on to get 99 in both out wide and in possession game if we wanted to or else we could leave that and have one more if we wanted to pop it in to have 87 speed right now this guy is going to be a very very stylized kind of left winger right now we will do one more thing as well over here in the actual game so this is the version of Neymar that I have as you can see he's a very similar player um obviously it's all about dribbling you know ball control type possession and acceleration the one thing with this card um is that he's not as good with the set pieces taken and the speed is a bit lower, right? But he has better passing, right? That's just the way I've trained him up. So this is the AMF version of him that we're going to take a look at, right? So there's my stats there that you can see on screen. And then there's the stats of this new version of Neymar. So they're extremely similar players. Um, and this is where you'd be playing Neymar, is in this role here, kind of an SS AMF kind of hybrid, where you're using him as the main link up between your, three strike, your two strikers, whoever they would be. Um, this obviously isn't my full squad, but... This is where you'd be using him, right? The second version of Neymar that we're looking for, right, is going to be just an outright winger. We're not going to be using him for anything but pace. We're going to have a little bit of depth, um, you know, with our players here. And we're probably going to have two strikers up front with Neymar in that advanced role. And it's going to be more a traditional 4-3-3, right? So that's kind of what we're going to do. So this would be that version of him, um, where you've got the 96 dribble and 97 ball control, 96 acceleration. Look... This is, this is, you know, way overkill, right? You don't need that much uh, dribbling. You could take one off that and one off that if you wanted 95 acceleration and 95 dribbling. And you could pop, you know, a couple onto speed and stamina if you wanted to do that. I think it's probably worthwhile. Or else you could pop seven onto finishing, you know, if you wanted the free kicks. Um, there, is, there is different ways that you can train him. But yeah, I definitely think that's probably the second version of him. And then the third version of him is going to be the same as this one here that we saw, right? So it's the same, just built a little bit different. It's more of a kind of a balanced one um, where you have finish and pass and everything is going to be even and that you're able to pass as well. But the one difference between this guy is that you're going to be cutting in and shooting. You know what I mean? You're going to be cutting in a little bit deeper um, into the striker and shooting, kind of like an SS kind of left, left winger, right? With that version. So yeah, and then as for skills, right? So this is what I've given my name are. Obviously, everyone's going to be different. Um, this is what I've given my name are. And, you know, all the cards are kind of similar, right? So he's got one touch pass and true passing because I like to play him as a left winger that cuts in, that's able to shoot, that's able to pass. So I think that they are the best stats that you could give him. One touch pass is a must. And I would also probably give him super sub if you were looking to have him as a kind of an impact winger as well. But he is too good to play as a super sub, lads. Um, so he does have other skills that you could give him. I mean, there's a lot of skills there that you could possibly give him as you go down through them, um, including, you know, you know, chip shot control, knuckle shot, rising shot, if you shoot a lot, heel trick is obviously another one that he already uh, could do it, 
no look pass but the one touch pass i think is the key that's why i've given him that one so yeah let me know what you think of neymar lads definitely one of the best players that they have released and let me know what you think of these new training guides with the player skills and the formations and positions as well to show them obviously a winger neymar is going to benefit from possession or out wide or else quick counter where you use the wingers and then you know if you're playing an amf it's all going to be about long ball counter and quick counter through the middle so let me know what you guys think and i'll be back in a bit peace